Next, we've got some shapes, we've got some lines, we know how to change our colors, but what are some of the other things that we can do? Well, just like most digital programs, we can copy, we can paste, we can cut, we can paste, we can select different things. Right now, everything is on one layer. So let's really quickly look at layers, which is kind of all over on the right-hand side of the screen. And you can see kind of highlighted in blue over here, a, a little mini version of everything that is on this layer. I can make that disappear by touching the eye. Uh, I can add another layer on top of this with the plus sign. And you can see that now that layer is highlighted. I can still come back and work on this layer. Uh, I can add another line to it if I want. Uh, I can add a line to the layer above. Um, what's interesting is with all of the things that I can do with my layers, I can also combine them to create a layer group. And you see these kind of double lines below here. And I can come through here and I can turn certain things on and turn certain things off. And, you know, there's plenty that I can do. I'm going to undo most of this. We can get complicated later, but let's just turn everything back on and talk about some of the other things. So if I'm on my layer with most everything and I want to select something, let's say I want to deal with these circles in the upper left. Well, my selection tool is on the left-hand side of my screen and I don't really know how to describe it. It's below the little plus sign looking thing and it's above the paint bucket looking thing. Um, we'll get to both of those. So whatever you want to call that, that's my selection tool. If I draw around something, uh, let me close that. Uh, then I can, I can move that if I want. Uh, there's other things that I can do. Like if I click on the layer, I can cut that selection out, right? Let me not do that. Uh, I could duplicate this selection and it's right there, but then it allows me the chance to move that, right? I have duplicated, I can resize it. Uh, and, and then I click done in the upper right. Uh, and as you can see now, that's on its own layer and I can make it disappear or not make it seen or not seen, I guess. I'm going to make it unseen. I'm going to go back to my original layer. I'm going to select this again. And let's just say that I want to move this one. I don't want to duplicate it and move it. I just want to move it a little bit down into the right. Well, that little plus sign with the triangle just right above my selection tool is my move tool. And I can just move that down around here. I can do other things, distort it, skew it, play around with it, right? I can, there's plenty of other things that I can do. I'm just interested in moving it for now, and then I'm going to click done when I'm done. Uh, I want, I'm done with the move tool for now, but I still got these like marching ant dash line kind of a thing. And at the bottom of the screen, if I hit deselect, it will get rid of those. If I come back, and I want to select something else. And let's say I don't want this circle in the middle of my hexagon on the right. Well, I can draw this around. And what I can do on the bottom of the screen is I could just erase that. And then I can deselect it and it goes away. Uh, instead of using the eraser tool, if I want to get rid of a big area, that's super helpful. Uh, let's say I want this blue hexagon to be a darker blue, and I want it to be completely filled in with blue. So I come back to my tool, I can make it a different color blue, I can make it a little bit darker blue, and I can come through here. And this is when I just, instead of trying to color something in, well, this first off is not the right tool. <laughs> so I'm gonna come back to my vector brush, and I can start to, color this in, but obviously it's going, and that takes a long time. That's not very elegant. That's not very pretty. Uh, what I can do is select my paint bucket. And if I tap inside of a closed shape, it's going to fill that shape with that color, right? If I get rid of all of that, two fingers, if I tap onto a shape, it will change the color of whatever it is that shape. So that's a little weird actually, based off of what I'm used to. We'll figure that out later. So now I've got my hexagon that is blue 
and I can tap into the middle of that and it is the same color blue. What happens if I wanna take my small yellowish circle and I want that exact color? Well, there's two different ways to go about that. If I tip, tap on my color picker, um, I've got recent colors that are already selected and showing up and recent values. Uh, more specific than that, what I can do is I can touch my finger to the screen and pause and let it hold there. And what you'll see is a little color picker comes up. And as long as I don't lift my finger off the screen, it will go to the color that my finger is hovering over. So if I do this, I can fill that in. If I come to the next one, I can fill that in. And my outer magenta, I could fill that in. And now I've got full circles there. Um, I can do the same thing over here, right? Changing colors, filling in uh, empty shapes, trying back to my paint bucket and then filling that in. So that is how I change some colors. Uh, if I wanted this to be green, I can come through here and make it green. I change my colors, I can fill in a shape, I can select an object and move an object around and a little bit of how I can duplicate different things. If I wanna take this a little bit further and I select my hexagon and I tap on the layer to get this menu to pop out, I can cut that off of this layer I can create a new layer and I can paste that selection there. And now the benefit is once I'm done is I could come through and I can move this object around and I can have it overlap other things, um, but it's not really part of those other things. And I can change it independently. Like let's say I wanna rotate it. Uh, I can do this and then I could also duplicate this layer, right? I could move that. I'm done, and I can merge those layers down. So now I've got two things. Let's say I wanna duplicate that, and I wanna move that. All right, so now I have four hexagons. And this goes on and on and on, A layer group. I can move the layer group, I can resize my layer group, I can rotate my layer group, right? There really is, with a lot of digital stuff, almost an infinite number of things that we can do, but first, we have to be more proficient with just knowing where the tools are and how to do the basic things. And then we move on and we get more complex from there. So play around with those kinds of tools, and we'll come back together for the next video.